Not many people do jobs that they love. Fewer people get to do jobs they are passionate about and truly feel called to do. I am blessed to work with and know these two men that are both passionate to do a job they were truly called to do. And there are complicated times to be a Christian. I truly value being able to t call you both my friends and my pastors. Pastor Leland, I appreciate his commitment to caring. Uh, and it's not just for his congregation member. You can tell he ca he cares about our community. Well, Pastor Mako is a man that I've known for a very, very long time in my life since I've been going here to Epiphany ever since I was in kindergarten. Something that I've learned from him is that it's always a-okay to speak your mind. Just even though it might be a little out there, you should be allowed to speak your mind no matter what situation you're in. I appreciate Pastor Leland for the fine care he gives to our congregation. I experienced it firsthand last summer when I had my most recent cancer surgery, and he reached out to me on a regular basis, and I truly appreciated those phone calls that I received from him each week. The kids love Pastor Bucko. When he comes in, they all run up to him and give him hugs, and Pastor Bucko, good morning, good morning, good morning, and he gives them all hugs, and, and they just love to see him every Friday. My husband had open heart surgery, surprise open heart surgery for a congenital heart defect as well in 2018. Um, Pastor Leland came every single day after his surgery, and he gave us communion and anointed Keith with oil and prayed with us. And Keith was in the hospital for a good couple of weeks. We really felt God's presence with um, Pastor Leland there, and we knew that Keith was gonna be okay. And we just felt the Holy Spirit through Pastor Leland at that time. Uh, for Pastor Moko, I think it is, he takes our mission to heart, you know, when it comes to engaging uh, students and staff members and community members, greeting students by name. Uh, I think I heard him giving them permission to run in the halls. I'm not so sure about that one, if that can be allowed or not. He wants to make a connection with them and he wants to enrich their lives and um, to make them smile, to make them laugh, but also to help them grow closer to Jesus. Pastor Mucko and Pastor Leland, happy Pastor Appreciation Month, Pastor Mucko and Pastor Leland. Thank you so much for what you do and happy Clergy Appreciation Month.